Hey there, geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. And today, just for fun, I thought we would show you VMware. VMware allows you to run virtual machines. So as you can see, we're on my computer, but I'm also over here running a computer. So there's two of them, VMware Workstation and VMware Player. I think I got both of them up here. Let's try and do that right. VMware Workstation and the free player. Now, the downside to the player, of course, is that you don't get to save snapshots. For example, I'm on one copy of Windows 10, so I can go to VM Snapshot, and I go to Snapshot Manager. I can take a snapshot and save where I'm at, or go to Snapshot Manager, and just simply delete any previous saved, or create a new one, or even clone it. So that's kind of neat. It's expensive. It's like 250 bucks, but this is how we test software on Major Geek. So $250 and an upgrade every few years is well worth it to us to make sure that you're downloading safe software. In case you didn't know, all your screenshots you see and videos you see, you'd only see this little window here just like it looked like I'm on my desktop, but I'm not. I'm in a virtual machine. And you can always tell Major Geeks by looking at the screenshots down here. As you see, that's obviously our website while we're testing it. And then we watermark it so you know we've tested it. Virus total is really good. But virus total does come up with false positives probably more often than not. So you need to know what they are, which is why we test here. We will, for example, watch the installer. We will keep an eye out when things are running to make sure that it's not running something without our permission in the background and different stuff like that. And of course, we can scan our machines as we go as well to see if there's any problems after the installation. Sometimes we can leave it sitting here for a week and just check back later and make sure it didn't get sneaky later so not a lot of websites do that we've always done that it's nothing new for us that was our our thing so now you can get the, the player i'll put the links in the video now here's a neat thing windows 10 because you gotta have a key let me show you that real quick so watch this here's windows 7 so now i'm running windows 10 here i'm running windows 7 here I didn't shut it down properly. And I'm running Windows 10 here. So what I like about VMware is it's relatively, how do you want to say it? It's decent on the resources. So you can, most people should be able to run an operating system inside an operating system. So now, of course, the downside is right there. You need a product key. So if you don't have one, what I like about Windows 10 is that you can just go to update and recovery in settings update and security sorry recovery so if you get all messed up on your VMware player and just click get started and reset your Windows 10 so that wasn't an option before Windows 10 really we could have an image or something it was just a pain in the butt so as you can see here we are with Windows 7 and of course you can you treat it just like an operating system shut down and if you don't with Windows 7 if you just close this it does what you just saw it says it didn't shut down properly. Windows 10 will allow me to close it here. So we can take a quick look here. File, create a new virtual machine. If you do that, it'll just walk you through. You can load it off in ISO, etc. And just some of the other stuff, connecting to servers, scanning for virtual machines, start a new window, which we don't need. And let's see here, your preferences. Power, Snapshot Manager, what I already showed you. You can manage all your disks. Reinstall VMware tools, which every once in a while you get a little error down here if they didn't install correctly. Usually reinstalling fixes that problem. And bouncing from tabs, kind of redundant now. A lot of help, software updates, etc. So we really, really like playing with this. I mean, one of the fun parts about our job, to be honest with you, is just knowing about this. So if you know about it as you do now, it's very, very cool. So this allows you to download anything you want, visit any website you want, do anything you want. And nobody cares because all you got to do is go VM, snapshot, revert. Back we go. So anything I just did in here is gone. Now, if you don't like VMware and you don't want to pay for the other version, check always at the top of our page right here. You see this? Virtual PC and Sandbox. So here's where you are. Click back one. And for example, you can click by the number of downloads, or I like popularity. Let's see what everybody else likes. Sandboxy, that's a free one that's really cool. 
VirtualBox is another one that people like. I just happen to be a VMware fan. i very happy being able to revert all the time and save so that I can intentionally screw up my computer, which I've done in a few videos here on Major Geek. So once again, check the links inside, I think. If you've never used it, you'll dig it. And I can just close this out. See what I mean? See you later. Bye. Let's go about our business. So there you go. Stop by Major Geeks. Check one of them out. Let me know what you think. Or let me know what your favorite virtual machine is. Thanks for watching. As always, see you.